Don't even think about calling me crazy You know you peep that lady So everybody this is, Doc, this is Dr. Phil Joyce today is August 25th 2012 if there's one man one man one man on this entire planet who has brought down New York City Housing Authority like I promised you I would I'm that guy I'm that super guy and you know how I've been able to do that I don't touch your freaking women I don't need your freaking card I want justice in America so I can get the hell out this no good piece of crap country for black people if you're black in America you gotta suck crap and stay here I'm saying bang Kiss my ass, I'm not staying here. I brought down the house of NYCHA with John B. Rea as the third chairman of housing who bit the dust by one. Thanks to me, by myself, along with the Daily News. Hey, how you doing? I told you I would. I told you I could. Bye-bye. Okay, Judge, we're on camera now. Hey everybody, this is Mr. Gary DeLeonardo. This is the man. This is, look, if I had a big brother, I got him and you're looking at him right now. I told you I was European, and every time I say that in front of him and his partners, we all joke about that. Judge, how you doing today? I'd like to thank you very much on camera for giving me this session that's going to allow me to seek, um, through a motion, to have the Attorney General removed for a conflict of interest, in my case, on that he's defend his office is defending and prosecuting in another county, and we saw Shirley Huntley busted, and I got the paper to show that he sent to me something saying that, oh, he can't help me, and then he steals my information and go grabs her and does it politically just about the time for her to not be reelected, or he could have waited until after I, um, I, the, the motion came in on whether the case would be dismissed or not. That's what's so egregious about this. This was a political hit against my, against a woman that I'm, I don't have anything against Shirley Huntley. She just didn't do her job, neglected me and all that. This is just professional. I don't, I don't have that kind of feelings that I want to do anything to these people. But when I'm in character, you know I will talk that trash. Okay. Come on. Get going. I got to get back to work. Am I doing a good job, Judge? You're, huh? doing, a, you're doing the best you can with what you got. That's for sure.
and 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 and, and on, go. Go oh yeah, oh, we got to put this on camera, sir. Did at one time when you were my attorney in the civil court case for me to be evicted, that at some point a NYCHA attorney came to you and asked you, is Dreis trying to change the face of NYCHA? <laughs> what? The, about the, the guy, the lawyer that, that, that asked you, was I trying to change the face of NYCHA? You've had, you've had a long-standing uh, dispute with NYCHA. Yes, sir. Which I suppose is still going on. Yes, right. And, and when he said that, don't you think that was prophetic? Perhaps it was. <laughs> One. Thank you, brother. I love you, All Judge. Right. Oh, hey, everybody, look, let me tell you something. If y'all want a real law firm that's serious, that when you come, somebody actually gives a crap about you because for these guys to give a care about me like this, protect me or guide me, I mean, even laugh at my jokes when it's not funny to everybody else. Mm -hmm. I got a home here, people, and guess what? The brains reside right here. <laughs> The brains reside right there. That's my boy's guy. You see all my stuff right here? Yeah, that's in my little shrine right there. And his breath test of business is going back. It's going, we're coming back in business. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judge. All right. In a couple of days, I'll be back with my homework. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good luck. Bye. Listen, I'm, I'm not here to tell you today that we have enough money to fix all the problems, right? If I, I wish that's what my message was.
what I am, and I told you early on when I went through the numbers on what the money was being spent for and what it's not being spent for. Unfortunately, given as you look at a NYCHA development, we have to secure, protect the actual building before we can go into individual apartments. So investments in the bricks, investments in the roofs, investments in the plumbing and the heating, and investments in the elevators have to happen before we can go into individual apartments. So, you know, I know that, as I said to the mayor, and as I said to Secretary Donovan, I said, and I said to city council today, because we had our budget testimony today, I said that the, the things that will make the biggest impact on residents, which are their individual apartments, we are not being able to get through with this current funding. Uh, so, and we're, we, we will be investing in boards. Can't buy a new boiler for eighteen thousand dollars, but I get your point. <laughs> but I get I get your point. I couldn't agree with you more. Thank you, Ms. Bryant. Uh, speaker number four, Philip uh, Price. <clears throat> Please come forward. I'd like to thank you and I congratulate you. Thank you. You are the most articulate and the most charming chairman of the four chairmen that I've known. Ladies, isn't he a good looking guy? Just a good looking guy, okay? Now, we're gonna be real nice to Mr. Rhea. Did my mother pay you to say that? <laughs> no, this guy did the housing whistleblower. Okay, all right. I'm that guy. All right. Mr. Chairman, I spoke to Constance Robotan this retaliation against me to destroy my life, can it please stop? I'm a remaining family member. Right now, I've been beaten up Byron Metacockets in Supreme Court so bad, this is for you. I just beat him up that fast. Yeah. Okay. So. Move to the next one. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I have one minute and 40 seconds. Three things. Number one, the retaliation against the whistleblower. If an old lady is embezzled by an employee out of $20,858, Ricardo Elias Morales calls my, my boss, who I work for at a law firm, and tell me to tell them to leave alone. I left them alone, but you don't leave the old lady in the, in, in, in the apartment with the gas stove on for four hours, and then, and then you orchestrate a retaliation scheme against me with a containment apparatus that destroyed my life, cost my business over four and a half million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars for antiques taken out of my home. I'm a Haitian French Orthodox Roman Catholic. I leave people alone. I don't bother anybody, but the kind of compassion that it takes to see what I'm seeing is just humane. It's nothing special. Another thing, criminal neglect. Deep, I don't understand this. You mean to tell me you got two lawyers in two different courts and both of them have a different story about an, an ex supposed exclusive senior development that is not? Another one. Um, when you deceive the judges, you deceive the courts, and I bring that to you. The, the Veterans Administration asked Congress to speak to call in state and federal law enforcement. Ida Smith says, you even got a call recently about May Keys, where they said 
Niger is conducting a form of redlining. Those 21 developments, I believe, were part of the uh, Davis versus Niger that it was found that Niger was conducting a form of redlining. Are we still on the same page here? And I'm done. Mr. Price, we'll have somebody come over and speak to you. Okay, specific to your concerns. 